Uh, same beach, same place. Sun's on our back, so it's not too yeah. bad. Yeah, oh, we're having trouble with the focus here. Um, uh, we get a lot of seagulls flying behind us. Maybe they're kicking it up. It could be. Or it's just that when we try to show the lake or whatever behind us. I don't know. It's probably anyway, me. Anyway. It's all you. It's always me. You're messing up the technology. <laughs> there it is. So we thought we'd continue because we were having fun discussing TV shows. Um, this summer, I himself is not as much of a sci-fi fantasy comic geek as his wife. But he bore with me. And he had done like all the Avengers and those things with me. So we went to Netflix and they have a whole Marvel series over there. Tons of them. Yep. Very complex people. Some here are the the darker. Darker. Yeah, that's They're what I was just going to say. The Netflix like the ones Avengers. are definitely darker than the Marvel, um, than the Marvel, uh, uh, most of the Marvel movies. Right. Yeah. And I will confess, I really, really enjoyed them. Um, Jessica Jones, I love seeing yeah. a strong woman. Yep. She's a bit of elky. Um, she had issues. Um, but I like that she's very complicated and confident, though. Oh, yeah. And despite she will her kick your butt. Despite she will totally her kick your fragile, butt. and for as much as she's cocky and she's strong and she can kick a guy's butt, every, there is this vulnerable side to mm -hmm. her that I truly enjoyed. So that, that's been my summer gig. How about you? Um, uh, yeah, see, that's the whole thing. In the summer, you turn to the ones that you missed during the year because, right. you know, they're, they're not on anymore. I, I'm a big fan of medical dramas, so like Grey's Anatomy. I'm still hanging in there with Grey's Anatomy, even though <laughs> there, have been times, there have been times I've been like, I'm not going to watch this anymore, but I can't help myself. A plane crashes, a bomb, and whatever. Yeah, exactly. I have medical people There's in the family few... who hate it. They're like, There's, that yeah. is not how that would work. Well, absolutely. Absolutely. And again, <laughs> for fiction. So this summer, though, I watched, um, I, I actually had liked uh, over last year, I watched the one that there was an autistic surgeon. I can't remember the title. Oh, um, I liked, the doctor. I liked that Doogie, one. Er, it wasn't Doogie Harris. No. It was um, the kid that was in Peter Pan. I can't uh, well, I, I, I enjoyed that one. Again, slightly different. Uh, so this summer, though, I watched The Resident, which I liked, which again, the, the main character is a bit of a a bit of a jerk and a bit of a you know has his issues and everything and yet again you see the other side of him come out and everything so i like that and 911 i started watching 911 yeah, and I, and you know what actually made me go watch it the trailers for the new season and they're opening uh with a massive um earthquake in LA and, and whatnot oh, and I just thought I, I don't know I like I like those kinds of, of shows so I have picked I, those up I like medical things too I really try in the book when I do a medical thing and same time next summer the daughter has a TBI a traumatic brain injury and she's in a coma at the beginning of the story and it's about this mother's devotion to her daughter and a summertime friend and hence the title same time next summer which is also a movie that i love same time next same year Same time next year a little yeah. bit of adultery going on there but still love the movie but um i was concerned that i was going to write it in such a way that if a medical person picked it up they'd be annoyed they would and i i try not to annoy people i try to get an, at least enough right that you say okay she's not a doctor nor does she play one on TV, but that's not bad. But it's close enough. So because I right. have medical people in the family, I said, hey, when you go to work tonight, could you find me a neurologist, somebody in the brain doctor area? And here's what I'm thinking happens. Here, here's where the daughter is. Here's how I think she's going to wake up. My research. Here's what I think she's going to have as long-term deficits. Ask if this is right. Yeah. And she did and came back and said, yeah, and he said, make sure she knows. They don't just wake up and start talking. That's a, It happens on the movies. It doesn't happen in real life. And so the doctor in the book says that as well, that that's not how this really works most and of the time. And yet, I would argue that there's always exceptions. There's always exceptions You know, I loved that movie, um, was it called Awakenings, where, where they gave the, the coma patients the drugs. But and that's they, real life. I know, that that's was, what yeah, I mean. That's, that's what I was going to say. That actually happened that right. way, where they gave them this drug. Robin Williams. Oh, I miss I him. Know. He that's was. I, I, he was absolutely one of my favorites in so many different things. Patch Adams. You know, so his more drama stuff. Dead oh, Poets Society. Uh, what was the one where the wife commits suicide, they're dead? Um I love that movie. Oh, oh. I only vaguely remember that one. Oh, I've got it at home and I'm blanking on the but title. Also, but also, 
Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, Mrs. Doubtfire. I have got to say awesome. that's probably one of my favorites. So, so we've kind of veered out of TV and into <laughs> movies again. But you know, that's how it goes when you're hanging with us. Uh, when you you're tripping with Holly and Susan, about. you just never know where you're going to end up. So that's the end of this episode, and we'll see you in the next one.